welcome to this Heritage Trail podcast exploring Kingston-upon-Thames. In this episode, we discover the oldest complete building in the area within the heart of Kingston. Standing on the corner of Queen Elizabeth Road and London Road by Kingston Grammar School, the Lovekin Chapel is a Grade 2 listed building and the last freestanding chantry chapel in Britain. It was built as a chantry chapel in 1352, which means it was set aside specifically for the performance of chantry duties by a priest. This involved praying for the soul of the person who had funded the chantry after their death, or those of their family, in hopes that this might speed their passage through purgatory and help them get into heaven. They were popular amongst the landowning class in early medieval Britain, and were thought of as an investment in the afterlife. Most of these chapels were destroyed during Henry VIII's Reformation in the 1530s as he replaced the Catholic Church with the Church of England as the country's official religious body. The origins of this particular chapel can be traced back to Edward I's trip to Kingston in February 1299. It was founded by local landowner Edward Lovekin, a member of a well-established Surrey family who was a caterer by trade. He was bailiff of Kingston in 1277 and once again in 1284, before becoming a citizen of London from 1292. At this time, he had houses in Billingsgate and at Bridgefoot in Kingston. But how did he come to build such an extravagant building? Lovekin entertained Edward I at least twice, as well as providing a lavish feast for the King's wedding to Princess Margaret of France. The bill for this was still unpaid at the time of the king's death, and in return for cancelling this debt, his son, King Edward II, granted a licence to Lovekin to found and endow a chantry chapel in 1309. This would have greatly enhanced the status of the Lovekins in the area. Edward Lovekin died in July 1310, just four months after the first chaplain had been installed in the chapel of the Blessed Mary Magdalene on London Road. He left two sons, the younger of whom, John, would go on to restore and further endow the chapel his father had founded. Today, the Lovekin Chapel describes itself as a non-religious building and is not an active church. It is part of Kingston Grammar School and is available to hire for weddings. As such, it is not normally open to visitors, except occasionally on Heritage Open Days.